So this year marks the 16th anniversary uh, of um, French-Chinese uh, diplomatic relations. And uh, it's also uh, the uh, year of French-Chinese cultural tourism. When I was here last year, I discovered in, in the schools we were that they had already a French teacher. It was a French football teacher, soccer teacher, uh, who, uh, uh, who was from France and was teaching sports. But we uh, want to, to have uh, also uh, other uh, um, kind of um, school matters that uh, send teachers. And at the same time, I, I would like very much to uh, develop the learning of, of Chinese in my city. Uh, so we, uh, uh, Chinese is, is learned in, in fr France, but little bits. Uh, I think we need to uh, know more the language of the other. And uh, we, we would be open also to, uh, to have uh, a Chinese class classes in, in my city. And we need also to, to develop, and it's one of my field at the European level, uh, in green technologies. Uh, we, we, have, uh, we want to support electric cars. I think you're doing a, a, a great job in, in, in doing this by seeing the, the green plates on the streets. It's very, uh, very astonishing for me coming back after COVID and seeing all these electric cars. This is something we're trying to, to promote. But uh, I know, of course, in, in, in automotive uh, industry that, that uh, there is a, a very strong cooperation. And um, I hope that many other uh, um, uh, people are going to, to, uh, to work for French companies here. Um, but the, I think the, the most important and the um, uh, uh, biggest challenge in, in front of us is, is skills for the uh, um, energy transition. Uh, we are going to, uh, to uh, lack uh, um, qualified people. Uh, uh, China and France are uh, at the present time aging and, and, and losing population because of this. And we, uh, at the same time, we need more and more people to work in the green sector. Uh, so it's, it's a big challenge. Where are we going to find these people who are going to, uh, uh, to be engineers or just to install solar panels on roofs? Uh, and, and in this regard, we, we need to, uh, to, to also get back to the education system to see uh, how we uh, can educate the people we're going to need especially in industry and especially in clean industries. And we see uh, uh, more and more uh, electric cars uh, and Chinese electric cars on the French market, uh, which is a, a good competition because, because we, we compete to save the world. So it's, it's, a, it's a good way to compete. Um, so uh, uh, th there is uh, uh, more and more people uh, who are buying uh, electric cars. And, and also uh, I think the uh, uh, the, the, these new brands that the European market didn't know, uh, now they're beginning to, to, to know them and they're beginning to have a good reputation also because uh, we were used to only European cars or American cars or Japanese cars. Now we see that there is a good quality also in, in the Chinese industry and uh, uh, it's, it's very recent but uh, uh, we see many, uh, many more uh, people buying Chinese cars and France is uh, at the top of, of the European continent in terms of uh, electric vehicle uh, charging stations. Uh, and we, we also have one of the biggest number of fast uh, charging stations per, per capita in France, uh, uh, more than Germany. So, so it's a good potential also to, uh, to develop the electric vehicle industry. because wood construction is also a good way to fight climate change, much more carbon effective than cement. Uh, so we are trying to boost wood construction. And this means uh, we, we need also to see how the global markets on, on woods and trees uh, is, is working. So these are the examples of uh, some sectors where we, we need to work uh, uh, closely together to improve trade, to improve trading rules. And, and make uh, make our uh, both economies stronger. So we see uh, in the in, in terms of uh, building, in terms of urban planning, uh, what is going to be the future, and uh, we we need to think now how we can build more resilient cities, greener cities, and uh, less carbon intensive cities. Uh, and wood construction uh, and the new techniques around wood construction. Uh, uh, needs to be shared 
uh, also about new cements. We have in Autun a research center, uh, especially on, on new materials, and how we can combine cement and wood, uh, and, uh, especially for bridges. I know that there are 13,000 bridges, it's even hard to say, 13,000 bridges in Chongqing, uh, which is a, an impressive number. We know that uh, uh, bridges need to be maintained and at some points uh, they, they can be weak. And uh, also with climate change, they, they support uh, uh, very difficult uh, uh, weather condition. And in my city, we have a, a special uh, a center to research how we can combine wood and cement uh, to, to, uh, to make uh, very resistant uh, uh, bridges, which is a good way also we, we can uh, elaborate on this because most of the bridges are quite new, maybe the uh, 20, 30, 40 years, and is, they're going to come to a point where you, you, you need to maintain them. Uh, in order for them not to deteriorate and, and in the end fall. So, so this is a, a good way also we can, uh, we can work together. And, but to, to recognize that the solution to uh, global warming and pollution is not only from state to state, not only from uh, a diplomatic point of view, but also from city to city cooperation. And this is what I hope uh, for the future between our two cities. So uh, this is why also I am here um, to, to see and to learn and to visit uh, very interesting examples and I'm, I'm here also to, to see and to visit uh, facilities, uh, uh, factories and, and schools and see uh, how we can exchange. So it's only my, my third time in Chongqing but I, I, I'm intending to bring more uh, politicians and also uh, more uh, 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 leaders in industries to come here and see uh, what we can learn from each other.